Well, this is long overdue. I'm going to show you how to ship comics in a Gemini mailer. Stay tuned. What's up, fam? And welcome to Wolverine Comic Shop's How to Use a Gemini Mailer for Shipping Raw Comic Books. I hope everyone out there is having a good day. Fam, if you're not doing so already, go ahead, like, subscribe, turn on notifications. We're going to jump into this how-to. I'm about to leave the screen and give you a hands-on view of what we do, of what I do to ship raw comic books. So let's just get right into that. If you're not doing so already, go ahead and follow us on eBay, Shortbox, TikTok, whatnot, and YouTube. Follow, like, share, subscribe. Check you back in a second. Okay, and we are back. So before we begin, just a few items um, that I like to keep on hand and that we're going to be using uh, for this uh, raw comic book that we are going to ship with a Gemini mailer. One of the first things is tape. Uh, tape is very important. I went through a lot of different types of tape until I finally found this one. This one is awesome. It does not make a lot of noise. As always, our trusted Painter's Blue Tape. Never leave home without it. I have some comic backboards. Show you what those are about. A pen, a scissor, and of course, an actual comic book. All right. So, I remember when I first started, I had no idea how to use these things. And it was not very informal. So, I'm going to do my absolute very best to try and make this as easy as possible for you okay and now there's a bunch of different ways to do this this is how i do it all right so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with it just like this okay you can see the gemini mailer is facing up okay then what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over okay we're going to flip it over right okay now the first thing we're going to do step one is we are grabbing this first piece and we are simply just dragging it off. That's all we're doing. We're just dragging it off. That's what we did. Okay? Remember, we had it flip flip it over, drag it across, position it. And this is where your comic book will sit. So personally what I like to do, I take two pieces of blue tape it's just something personal i like to do i just want to make sure that everything stays exactly where it needs to stay okay now we're going to kind of leave this aside for a second but before we do i do kind of like to just start the process the bending of where the comic is actually going to go and how it's actually going to be encased you have the lines guiding you, so there's no way to really kind of screw that up, okay? So now, we have our comic book. We've already checked our comic book. Our comic book is good. So this is how I like to prepare my comic books. So I, I take a backing board, shiny side first, and I put it down over the comic. I do the exact same thing. I do the exact same thing to the back. Okay, this way, the comic is secure, the comic is in there, it's not going to go anywhere, all right? So for the purpose of this video, I'm trying to do this a little quickly, We, I am simply just taping up the four corners of the book, there you go, normally I would have a pull tab, but that's okay. Obviously, you know, everyone does this a little different. There's no, there's no, I guess there's no wrong way or right way to do this. Just protect the comic book. That's what this is. That's what this is all about. You are protecting someone else's comic book. Okay. Now here's a step a lot of people forget to do. And it's probably one of the most important steps. The only way that this comic book is going to stay the same grade is if it does not move, okay? If it does not move inside the box, then we 
are going to win every time. Okay? That's what it's all about. So what I do is I tape down four corners again of the box. Normally this would have a pull tab. I get right in there to make sure everything is lined up. And voila, just like that. Okay, now, next thing, very simply, we already kind of started the process. We're folding over the top portion. There's three rivets here. You're gonna go with the first rivet and the second, the second rivet, okay? So that it creates a nice cushioned area in which the comic is not going to get damaged. And then we're doing the same exact thing on the other side, okay? There it goes, I'll show that up to you. Little, you see that? Okay, just closes up, all right? So we take our trusted blue tape again, we put a nice little blue tape across the top. Okay, here's where things start to get in the debate section. Everyone, from what I see, likes to fold this part over first, and then, fold over this part. I personally don't do it that way. I don't think that this is a wrong or right way to do it. Personally, my philosophy is, is if I'm folding it over this way, and I'll show you why, I fold it over this way. Okay, we got a complete perfect fold. The, 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 there's a little lip. There's a little lip here that sticks out over this. And the whole point of going with this first is so that this does not stay on top of it. Okay? Meaning mean oh, meaning that it pushes itself. So I see everybody else they do it like this. They do it like this. They do it like that. And it to me I just don't get it. It should be like this. Okay? Just like that. All right. All right. So now the next step, sealing this sucker. So the first thing we do, we are now moving over to the clear tape, okay? And as you can see, as you can see, it is all nice and ready to go. So this is what we do. We right across the front of it, right down the back. And Bang, there you go. That is a sealed book. Now, if you want to go the extra mile, this is how I personally do it. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get this in the shot. So what I do is I go across the top. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna give out my little secret. Go I go across the top like this, okay? And then I fold over the sides so that if it rains or something happens, it is completely sealed and the book is in there and it's not gonna get damaged and it cannot shake around and that is it, my friends. Thank you all so much for watching. Again, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, tell a friend to tell a friend, go back and check out our unboxing videos, our educational videos and Follow us on Instagram, whatnot, TikTok, uh, whew, eBay, and Shortbox. I'm getting myself confused. And we will catch you at the very next Wolverine Comic Shops video. Thank you all so much for watching, and thanks for the support. Peace. Let's go, bub.